Hello, I'm Congressman Sanford Bishop of the 2nd District of Georgia. One year ago, the American people sent a powerful message when they elected a historic new majority for the House of Representatives. This new majority was driven by candidates who promised to protect people with pre-existing conditions, lower the cost of health care, and reduce the skyrocketing price of prescription drugs. This week, I joined my colleagues to deliver on that promise by passing the Elijah E. Cummings Lower Drug Costs Now Act, a transformative series of reforms that finally levels the playing field for everyday Americans who rely on prescription drugs. The current prices of prescription drugs for Americans are outrageous. Companies have raised prices for prescriptions for Americans to three, four, and even 10 times higher than the prices in other countries, even though their overseas prices still produce a profit. It is despicable that companies would take advantage of people with cancer and chronic illnesses simply because these medications are not optional for them. To add insult to injury, drug companies are not using these high prices to fund research and innovation for new medicine and cures. Higher prices in America are purely for lining their already well-lined pockets. Too many families in our district and around the nation have to choose between putting food on the table or paying for their life-saving medications every day. This historic legislation forces drug companies to come to the table with Medicare and negotiate real price reductions. It makes the lower prices negotiated by Medicare available to all Americans, including those with private insurance. It stops drug companies from unfairly charging Americans more than other countries for the same drugs. It creates a new $2,000 out-of-pocket limit on prescription drug costs for Medicare beneficiaries, and it reinvests in innovation and the search for new cures and treatments. The Law Drug Costs Now Act is a giant step towards making prescription drugs more affordable. Bottom line, Americans should not be held hostage by companies for life-saving medication, and I'm proud to support legislation that will help our citizens get the medicine they need to live. I call on the Senate to pass this legislation as quickly as possible to give Georgians relief from unconscionable prescription drug costs.